Waste management in Africa is a huge problem. At best, waste ends up in vast landfill sites. At worst, it is simply dumped around Africa's towns and cities. The result is that not only does the local environment suffer, our planet does too. Plastic and chemicals find their way into the ecosystem, where they lay trapped for thousands of years. If rubbish and waste is dumped in an open landfill, rather than being treated, vast quantities of methane gas are, over time, released into the atmosphere. A methane gas molecule is around 25 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. These gases trap heat, which in turn warms up our climate. In many ways, Africa's developing countries are the most vulnerable to the harmful effects of global warming, with drought being the most obvious example. In 2016, Ethiopia experienced one of its worst ever droughts, and over 10 million people had to rely on food aid to survive. We need to act now, but where do we start? One step in the right direction would be to address Africa's massive waste problem. And taking the lead here is Ethiopia, home to the first waste-to-energy facility in sub-Saharan Africa. The facility, called Repi, is being built in the country's capital, Addis Ababa. Repi will treat waste by combusting it and, in the process, generate clean, renewable electricity. And it won't just produce power. The combustion process will also sort metals for recycling. Fourteen hundred tons of Addis Ababa's waste will be treated every day. That's more than four hundred thousand tons a year. Combusting the waste produces steam, which drives two twenty-five megawatt steam turbines. Together, these turbines can generate one hundred and eighty-five gigawatt hours of renewable electricity every year. Once operational, Repi will meet 30% of Addis Ababa's annual demand for household electricity. It will also clean 220 cubic meters of waste leachate every day, toxic liquid that would otherwise pollute the surrounding environment and waterways. And instead of releasing harmful gases into the atmosphere, Advanced flue gas treatment will ensure that those gases are caught, scrubbed and cleaned to stringent European Union standards. The work for a sustainable Africa, powered by clean energy, has just begun. And it's starting right here in Ethiopia.